who will finish top of Pool C for the World Rugby Championships in 2018. France take on the 2012 champion South Africa here in Nabon. Now the backs get involved, the miss pass, lovely line from Barassi. Held and quickly it's released, here goes Joseph. Oh yes, Joseph at the score, France get there. That is all class. What a finish from Joseph. Knew exactly what he was doing, ball out in his left hand. Just extending his arm so that when the tackle was made, he could reach out. That's really intelligent play. Again, Kovu releases, and this is Bamba. Takes some stopping. The offload is there. Lovely ball out to Waki. Waki in the backfield. Needs some support. Pops it up. French rugby at its absolute best. Oh, we oui, win oui, the France. Carnival now scores. One of the best tries of the day. Have a look at the work from the captain. Coville calls for it, quick hands, and Carbonell gets in. Decoy runners, the dummy, through the gap they go. Now they're queuing up, left and right, nice pass. Looking for the finish is Lobel. Ball on the inside, France, one metre short. They pick and go, Lobel. Advantage. They've got an advantage. Here goes Joseph. Oh, picks up a double! Fantastic! Unreal again from the French. Get our key. The look and then the go from Carbonell. Carbonell. Well, the only player with him is Josef. He strings. Oh. Jordan Josef. Seven short. Cobble gets there. Numbers to burn again. Quick hands. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. That is beautiful. Forwards and backs combining. And France are putting on a clinic in Nabon. Again, it's in close. Nine phases. Now the tenth phase. Backs not being used on this occasion. The power game from the South Africans gives them rewards. Over goes Erasmus. And they do get the rewards. Twelve phases after the lineouts. Berger quickly gets it up to Murat. Now Berger getting involved a lot more. Throws the ball out to man of the moment, Waki. And Cameron Waki goes close, pops it up. Oh, the big fellas in. Jean-Baptiste Gros. The front rowers around the world will be celebrating. Everyone's having a cup of tea. Berger feeds the scrum, he oh, comes on, run. ace, picks it up and delivers to the left, across they go, now out to the top try scorer. Similani gets over, try that. that is why he's the top try scorer in the competition, give him the ball and he will produce something magical. The Springbok juniors inching their way closer to that French line, number of phases. Here and now the discipline, real issue here for the French. South Africa sees no the ball close. Blue, let go. There you go. Just a metre short. There come. Looking for try number five, South Africa. The pop pass. Short, release. Berger's Move short. They can put it against the post there if they can get that close, but they drive over and another try. It's been all South Africa in the second half. It's a very good first half. We we want to 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 sorry to have a big rhythm. So we want to start very hard. Cause uh, baby spring box did, didn't uh, do turnover uh, the last game. So we want score score try in the first half. And after and after let's see. But uh, I think uh, we we prepare well this game. Now uh, we must recover and uh, let's go for semi-final. Uh, you know, we have to give the credit to the French. Um, they came out guns blazing. Um, 
yeah, just well done to them. Um, yeah, disappointing performance from us. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get back to the drawing board and review this game and um, yeah, just improve on those mistakes that we made. Let's just confirm after that result here in Pool C as to what the standings will look like. And so France qualify first with 14 points unbeaten in pool play. South Africa with that bonus point try gives them the advantage of having 11 points in a competition where a number of teams were tied on 10. And so here are the semi-finals and they are mouth-watering. It is England to take on South Africa here in Nabon on Tuesday. That's the first semi-final and then New Zealand will play France.